people to find out things like who made this document, when was it modified. Uh, I think one of the cooler things that we did, the alternate views. So if you had a slow link, you could get it in icky text. If you had a faster link, you could get a higher bandwidth rendition of the same content. One of the best things that happened was something we didn't do at all. Steve Foster out of Nevada? Yes. Uh, did a global index of all of the gopher servers. He'd walk the whole gopher tree and build indexes of all of them, uh, something that ended up being called Veronica. As I'm getting ready for doing this this talk, um, yesterday I said, man, I, I wish there was a Veronica server around still. I bet they're all gone. But I found one. <laughs> there is a guy at Point Loma, P-T-L-O-M-A dot E-D-U, gopher dot Point Loma, that's got a new Veronica that's uh, still walking the gopher tree and indexing it. It works, too. We provided a platform on which um, the next incarnation of um, World Wide Web, Mosaic, whatever, could build on, because when they started, they had no content. So their way up was to sit on top of Gopher, and all the web clients at that time, and still, knew about the Gopher protocol because it was so simple, and they could they could use the content that we already had. So they started out with a huge chunk of content. Sort of the same thing we tried to do by building on top of FTP content or Usenet content. Yeah. And this is good. This is another thing that I think is a recurring theme in all these kind of systems. You end up wanting to embrace and extend whatever was there before. What did we do wrong? What did we completely blow? What did we completely blow? Didn't have venture capital? <laughs> hey, there wasn't any venture capital. Oh. When we started out, there was like acceptable use policies. It was a question if you could even put ads and do commercial stuff on That's most right. of the internet. There was an acceptable use policy at that time, which was bizarre, considering now uh, cyber squatters are admired and the yeah. rule. We didn't have a real good place to put ads in our content because we were thinking much like we were librarians and you were using this as a structure to organize information. In fact, we were intentionally punting the whole page layout issue and saying that's something for other people to do. We were just programmers. We were just interested in the technical aspects. So We had a good time. That was the most important thing. Yeah. Okay, let's take the gopher out for a spin. Some of you guys aren't old school and haven't seen this before, or maybe you've forgotten. The um, home gopher, the one you start from, is where you go when you first launch. Uh, home gopher menu, also an option for starting from another gopher or using a URL, something we added after URLs came out and got popular. At the home gopher, or any other gopher, there's a bunch of items that are collections of documents or possibly search engines, like this guy. You also have the idea of a bookmark um, page, or a list of bookmarks. And at the top of my bookmarks, let's drag that window up where we can see it, is the uh, Veronica 2. So it's Veronica's back, and I can search for stuff like the thing I always searched for in demos, salmon, because I always found it. Here the server has given us back uh, 20 out of some large number of documents and I can open a document up and read all about salmon that some guy put together. Now it's also possible to get information about these items um, to select them and ask for any meta information available and here, unfortunately, the guy's not running a Gopher Plus server. It's hard to get people to mark things up with meta information, but we had buckets for who owns it, when was it modified, and that sort of thing. Um, I've been playing actually a little bit of a trick here to slow things down enough. On new machines, things run pretty quickly, so to make it reasonably slow so it doesn't seem too confusing, we've been, at the same time, we're grabbing lists of documents and collections of stuff including like videos or images. We also have been having another view of gopher space being rendered in another window that's a little bit buried so let's bring him up. Late in the development life of gopher at the University of Minnesota we got the idea that 
collections of documents since the collection information was abstracted from the document could be mapped into a 3D scene and you could have basically a virtual gopher space that you could drive around in and look at stuff. So I'm in the information about gopher directory but I could click at the uplink to one layer up and fly into a new scene. Uh, search Veronica 2 where I was before. The idea was that we would probably want to do something cute like let people say where documents belong in a 3D scene and let you, then let you drive around uh, real gopher space instead of virtual gopher space. And now the machines are fast enough that it's quick on pretty much anything. Unfortunately, you've got to be a video game player to be really into this kind of stuff. But anyway, there's a taste of what gopher is all about. Okay, we're out of here. Okay, now it's cutting time.